Hi guys, my name is Anuj Jindal. Welcome to this session on newspaper analysis. So, uh, a lot of students have been calling me on a regular basis, talking to my team and asking the same question, sir, how to go through the newspaper. Although I made this video last year also, we had a live session uh, and I talked about it, but I figured out that we need to talk about it again and understand it from a different perspective probably. Uh, because of the way RBI has been asking questions, because of the way SEBI and NAVAD have been asking questions. Okay, so first of all, the first question that comes to everyone's mind is which newspaper to go through. Let me tell you, no newspaper is bad. No newspaper is above the uh, above another newspaper. It is only about relevance. Some newspapers are more relevant for some examinations. Other newspapers are more relevant for other examinations. Therefore. You need to understand the need of RBI and then according to that read or pick up a newspaper. The Hindu is good, Indian Express is good, Live Mint is good, ET is good, Business Line is good, Financial Express is good. All these are good newspapers, a total of six that we have identified. There might be one or two others as well. Now Hindu is for UPSC. So if you are preparing for UPSC, then you can rely only on that. You don't need to cover anything else for RBI. If you're not preparing for UPSC, you can experiment with it for two, three days. But I would uh, recommend that you don't go through something like Hindu because it is very difficult to read. It takes time to read. It uses a lot of complex uh, sentences which take time to understand. And therefore, you would better rely on some easier newspaper. Indian Express is good, but at the same time, more relevant for UPSC, less relevant for RBI. Therefore, you can miss it. You can probably pick up other newspapers as well. Live Mint and ET, these are two newspapers that I personally use and I personally read on a daily basis and these are very good newspapers, very relevant for RBI as well, okay? The good thing about these two newspapers that I find is that they're very easy to read. The flow is amazing. Uh, for me, it is not so much about covering everything in a single day from a newspaper, but it is about being able to cover majority of the things in that one hour that I spend on one newspaper. That is very important. In fact, the most important thing for me, and that is what I do, that is what I focus upon. Live Mint and ET both solve the purpose very well. I spend about one, one and a half hour on both of them together, and I get a lot of inputs from them. I also make notes from them for you guys, Presently, the notes that I'm making for these from these newspapers, I'm uh, sending it out to interview candidates uh, through a link and they're updating, they're getting the updated version on a daily basis of this note and they're able to understand how to exactly prepare for the interview. Okay, so these are two newspapers that I would certainly recommend. You can also use bi uh, Business Line. Uh, remember, it is also by the Hindu. Therefore, uh, it is a little complex in nature than Live Mint and ET. And you can also use Financial Express. I have used Financial Express very little. Therefore, I would not be able to judge a lot upon the authenticity, credibility, likability, dislikability of Financial Express. But I, I, have, I have read their uh, uh, pieces online and they're good. Okay. In addition, you can also use Scroll. So uh, there is an app called scroll.in that I use on a daily basis and I love it. Uh, it's called scroll.in. It's beautiful the way it, the way they uh, go through all the news items one by one. It's amazing. The analysis is good. Uh, it's leftist at points, but you can neglect them or ignore them or even counter argument, create counter arguments for them. Okay, so that was it about uh, which newspaper to choose and why. Now, if we start with Mint and then we'll be starting with Mint and then we'll move forward to ET, Economic Times. So Mint, I'll be telling you uh, what all pages to read, what all pages not to read and how to identify what to read and what not to read in a page as well. Okay. Before starting, it's very important for you to understand that one newspaper is about 50 to 70 pages and you cannot expect yourself to read 50 to 70 pages of non-fiction in one hour and then go forward and spend your entire day also reading. Uh, I have identified the most efficient uh, output in terms of pages for students and that is about 80. If you're able to read material worth of 80 pages, understand it, break it down, make notes out of it, then you're at your efficient level, most efficient level. Otherwise, there is scope. So if you're reading about 50 to 70 pages on a daily basis in newspaper, not possible. You have to break it down. You have to filter it down to about five to seven pages max 
five pages is the max how do you do that okay let's start with mint so in mint on the front page every day there is this half page kind of a thing and here you have one analysis which is always very relevant always beautiful never forget to go through this it might not be relevant for rbi at times but it is always very relevant otherwise as well sometimes it is very relevant for rbi then there is this one other article here which is always very delightful to read so i always spend about 2 3 minutes reading this when you go down you get some major comments from major leaders and then you have something here which is sometimes interesting sometimes not so interesting but the good thing is but the important thing is that this article here which you get every day is always very important always very easy to read always a delight to go through this okay so that is number one that you're going to do about five minutes to seven minutes you're going to spend there then you come to the front page front page you have to read but keep it keep it in mind before starting with reading anything on the front page just mark which all uh, uh, you know which all articles do you think are important it says rbi here rbi tells banks something related to rbi you figure it out okay it is it looks important i'm going to read it then you have something on railway signals not important forget it iit kanpur protest on ca not important forget it uh, telecom telecom company is busy with financial woes not important forget it so you figure out in let's say probably one minute that okay only this article is important i'm going to cover only this and nothing else you spend about 5 minutes 10 minutes on this and then you move forward okay so this is the front page of livement you always find one or two important news items you go through them and then you move forward the second page of livement is also important it's called plain facts and always there is one analysis here there is this entire area is fixed for one analysis about 2 3 days back there was one analysis by livement which said 14 uh, uh 14 uh, 4 into 4 16 about 16 uh, points which can help you understand whether indian economy is going through a slowdown or not beautifully uh, created arguments beautifully created identified facts something that we can use in the interview if you're going for rbi sevi or nabard okay today it is about european club football not important for us you leave it right away third page is deals not important we are going to leave it fourth day fourth page is mark to market not important we are going to forget it then you have corporate three pages not important you right away leave them you don't even need to look at them then you have a long story one page of long story if it is about economy or finance or banking you cover it otherwise not today it is about rachi symbolism not important for us probably for upsc not for us then you have tech and science not important you leave them then you have one interview today and there and there is one interview on a daily basis about 2 3 days back we had one interview from geeta gopinath miss geeta gopinath here which was beautiful amazing interview i loved reading it today we have one interview given by pranav sen who is ex chief statistician in india beautiful interview again so these kinds of interviews i love love going through them it will be it be taking about uh, 20 25 minutes of your time but worth it okay so you'll be spending some time on the interviews if they are related with economics finance or banking today it is about how to revive growth in india very relevant then you have two views pages if they are about economic economy or banking or finance then you go through them otherwise you leave them then you have a policy page yes you have to go through that as well again if it is something about economy finance or banking only then you read it otherwise not so it says gst non compliance may cost business their registration you can just go through it because you figure out okay it is talking about if you don't uh, you know pay your gst on time then your registration is going to be cancelled so i understand with the heading also what exactly does it mean i'll just spend one minute on un understanding it further if i am right i'll go forward and then you have the last page okay uh in which if there is any news related to social welfare or economy or finance then you go through it otherwise you leave it okay today i did not find anything it is about politics politics and politics now there is there is one politics page as well you leave that there is there are three corporate pages you leave that there is one science page there is one tech page there is one personal finance page you leave that as well so you uh, you end up only reading about you know 3 to 4 pages the front page which is divided into 1 and 1/2 then you have the facts page then you have the story then you have uh, the interview then views page policy page that's it so spending about 
one hour on something like that identifying which all pages to read now let's come to economic times so i wanted to have some diversity therefore i wanted to discuss two papers today economic times the good thing about economic times is that whatever comes in all the newspapers on the next day normally comes in economic times today so whatever news has come in economic times today a lot of these news are going to be covered in these newspapers tomorrow let it be live mint let it be hindu let it be Indian Express, things that are happening right in the morning or right at night, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock at night, things that are uh, released uh, late in the evening, which are normally not covered by these newspapers because they've already gone into printing. Those are the things that ED covers at times. And that is why I like it. Okay. So today also the same thing has happened. There are two, three news items that I found. I'll be covering that uh, in a bit. First of all, the front page, always a delight to read. Today, uh, we have a news on efforts on to make it easier to start up, uh, to uh, make it easier to start up, do businesses. So, although it does not say anything about, uh, you know, anything that is directly related with RBI CV, but it helps you understand what the problems that startups are facing. Then you have something on uh, uh, DOT on TRI, which is Department of, uh, I mean, Telecom Ministry, not important. Indians consumed less groceries but shelled out more, not important. Indian stock stock stopped, global charts, not important. Now, there is one analysis at the back which talks about why the stock markets are moving and the economic uh, growth is going down. So, that analysis is important. This is all facts as you can see here. So, you figure out, okay, not important. You're just mentioning the facts about it, not so important. Okay, so that is about the front page. You have to go through the front page and identify whether there is anything important or not. If nothing is important, you leave it. The next page is politics, leave it. Third page is politics in ET, leave it. You can write it down also. Fourth page is advertisements, leave it. Fifth page is brands and companies, leave it. Sixth page is startups and tech, leave it. Seventh page is ET markets, leave it. Eighth page is smart investing, leave it. Ninth page is money matters. In money matters, you talk about a lot of uh, steps taken by regulators at times. And here also, we have one analysis on why the stock market is booming and economy is struggling. So it's the smart money. This is the topic of today and today's analysis. It's called straight talk. This is important. This is something that you should cover. So money matters, you have a look at it. Then you have finance and commodities. Very important. You cover it. Not everything. If it is about companies, leave it. If it is about industry, then only cover it. Then you have economy, macro, micro and more. This is important. If it is about companies, leave it. If it is about industries, then you cover it. It says rail fares likely to go up soon. Not important for us. Pulses output may be below estimates. This is important, especially for agriculture, for NABARD. So you cover it. Then you have companies. Again, not important. Disruption technology, not at all important for us. The edit page, it's always a beauty. Uh, so you cover it, whatever is related to economy, banking, finance, social welfare, you cover it, otherwise leave it. Then you have around the world, which is the same as international. You can just glance through it. If you find something important, you read it. Then you have the sports page, not important for us because all these news I'm already covering in spotlight on a daily basis through notes. So it is more simpler, takes less time to read. If you're able to identify which all pages to read and which all pages to leave. Okay. So you've identified maybe international, economy, micro, macro, then markets, and then the front page. These are the four or five pages that you've identified in ET that you can read on a daily basis. Live Mint and ET, both of them are beautiful newspapers. You can cover any of them for preparing for RBSAP or NABARD examinations. Uh, you can also pick up Hindu or Indian Express depending upon your likes and dislikes. Uh, but keep it in mind that whatever you read, do not try and cover the entire newspaper. Cover only what is relevant for the examination. Okay. I hope you like this session. I hope this helps you start with your prep for the upcoming examinations. All the very best. Take care.